Hello, I'm Vivette, and today I show you a video how to return to firmware 6.60 from version 6.61. At first, as you can see, my device is running version 6.61, and I have the 6.60 updater on my PSP. But if I want to start it, it says I can't start it because I'm running a higher version. That's why we need the Chrono Switch downgrader. And since people have problems with the structure, I'm showing you which structure we have to use so the PSP can find the updater and the downgrader. This is, by the way, a signed version of PSP Filer, that's why I can run it from the original firmware. Sony does not patch signed homebrews, at least not on the PSP. Okay, the structure is very easy. Slash PSP. Slash game. And then we have number one, which is Corona Switch Downgrader, eBoot PvP. You can see the whole structure at the top, which is slash PSP, slash game, slash Corona Switch Downgrader, slash eBoot.pvp. And the other thing we have to do is the update folder. And the structure in this case is M0, which is a memory stick. So the structure in general is slash PSP, slash game, slash update, slash eboot dot pvp, and everything is in capital letters. This is important. If you can confirm that you have the very same structure as I in my video, we can continue and finally downgrade to firmware. At first, we start the Chrono Switch downgrader which will then start the 660 updater, which installs the 660 firmware on our 661 PSP. As you can see, this is version 6 of the Chrono Switch downgrader, 6.61 support was added by QuickRazor, and we can now downgrade 661 to 660. The previous beta, the previous beta version was available, but it could only downgrade to version 639 or below. This is now fixed. And now we can downgrade 661 to 660. That was something that most people wanted. Now we will have a black screen for a few seconds and then the 660 updater will start and we can update our PSP from 661 to 660. All these sixes. Keep in mind that you have your battery to be charged at least 78%, otherwise the update will not start. It will say you should recharge your battery and then it will start on its own. So if your battery is below 78%, just plug in the charger, run this and wait. This will now take, I think, one or two minutes. You can just skip in the video. And when the updater says it's around 84%, it's pr practically finished because the step between 84% and 100% is one and the very same. So if it reaches 84%, it's finished. This will of course work with any kind of PSP. I've tested the PSP 1000, I've tested the PSP 2000, I've tested one of the different PSP 3000s and I've tested the PSP Go. It is worth to mention that the PSP Go has its own updater so I will put three links in the description. One is a downgrader which you can use on any PSP. One is the 660 update, which is for the PSP 1000, 2000, 3000 and E1000. And the third link is the 660 update, which is just for the PSP Go. Oh, and it's also important to say, if you run this on a PSP Go, it's recommended to put the installer, well, the updater and the downgrader, on the internal memory of the PSP Go, not on the removable memory stick of the PSP Go. 
the downgrader requires both files to be on the internal memory of the PSP Go for it to work on the PSP Go. If you're done with the update, like it's done at 84% you will see, then you can easily install a custom firmware since you're on 660. I recommend the ME or LME custom firmware. I do not recommend the Pro custom firmware because the ME and LME has all the features of the Pro but also its very own and better features. So there's no reason to use the Pro Custom Farmer if there's a better choice, which is ME and LME. As you can see, the downgrade is done. I am now running version 660. If I would search VR Wi-Fi for an update, it would find the 661 version, but we don't want this. And since I'm done, I can now install the LME or ME custom firmware. Since this is a PSP 1000, I'm installing the ME custom firmware. If you have a new PSP, like a 3000 or a Go, you have to use the LME custom firmware because the ME custom firmware is only for the old PSPs. Okay, there we go. Press X to install. It installs, it reboots, and there we go. 660 ME custom firmware. Very easy to do, and the only thing that's required is a memory stick, a battery that's charged, and the files in the description. That's it.